Welcome back to this week's tips and tricks in GTA Online. Now in this week's tips and tricks we will be discussing the topic of whether it is worth it to become a biker president opposed to becoming a CEO in GTA Online as part of this new update in the bikers DLC. So it is worth becoming a biker president because you can own your own clubhouse and it'll, the cheapest clubhouse is 200 grand and the most expensive one is 500 grand. Now it ranges, it becomes more expensive if you want it in the city or it becomes really cheap if you want it in like Blaine County near Sonora Desert or Polito Bay it's up to you wherever you prefer now the businesses that you can purchase they're more cheaper if they're in Blaine County so Sonora Desert where as I said everything gets more expensive if it's in the city so whatever you choose your clubhouse make sure you have your businesses set close to your clubhouse so pretty much you want to have your clubhouse, like if you want to spend the least amount of money but make the most amount of money, then go for Sonora Desert. Buy a clubhouse there because the clubhouse interior design in Sonora Desert is a lot more larger scale opposed to the one that's the most expensive in the city. It is relatively small, the interior design for the clubhouse. Also, if you purchase your businesses in Blaine County in Sonora Desert, it's the cheapest there because in the city it's more expensive so there's not really any point besides it just being like if you can't be asked to travel to the desert in Blaine County. But anyway, so that's why that's the only reason why you'd want to spend like 2 million if you want to have each business in the city. Now if you want to buy every business in the city it will cost around 7 million. That's not including the upgrades. The upgrades are relatively expensive and it costs around a million to about 1.5 mil. The upgrades for each business now preferably you want to get all the upgrades on your business that is a must because it really does increase the speed of your production significantly now opposed to a ceo the biker president the ceo it requires you to constantly be going back and forth collecting crates to fill it up whereas the biker president you just own the business occasionally resupply it with stock and it'll just like you just pay your staff and then they'll just do, produce the products for you so you don't actually have to be paying attention that much now there are a few businesses that do require a lot of maintenance for example the meth lab or the counterfeit cash factory those two in my opinion they require a lot of maintenance so if i was you i'd just buy the supplies for them or else you just gotta be constantly going back and forth trying to keep them maintained now, being a biker president, it requires you not to really do anything. So you can just be there having fun in free room and you'll gradually be making money. However, if you want to be fully efficient on the amount of money you're making, you want to be a CEO as well. Because when you, say you have every business purchase and you have them fully stocked up on supplies so they can produce the goods. Now, if you stayed as a biker president, you would be having to pay your staff. Okay, now if you had the, all the upgrades for each business, so you have the staff upgrade, you'll be paying 30 grand. Now these upgrades, they are worth it because it significantly improves the speed of production for each business. But anyway, so what you want to do is, you just simply just switch over to becoming a CEO. And when you're a CEO, pretty much it erases the factor of you having to pay for your staff. And also, it will carry on production. Now this basically allows you to do CEO missions by collecting the crates and then taking them back to your warehouse while production is gradually increasing for your businesses because it will still work when you're a CEO. So you can potentially be making, say you do 16 crates a day with your warehouse, you will be potentially making 2,220 grand a week, but it depends how frequent you want to be with the CEO crates. Now also, the businesses, if you have all, if you own all five businesses, then you will be potentially making $1,449,000 each day. So on top of that, say you did that for a whole week, you would be making $10,143,000 as well as the additional $2,220,000 from the CEO crates. So in, initially, becoming a CEO when you're gradually increasing your product when it's in production it both are worth it becoming a ceo and a biker president because potentially you can make a lot of money by doing this method now if you want to know the exact amount you could make in a year by doing this method you would make 115 million four hundred and forty thousand dollars just from doing the ceo shit 
each week so we're potentially selling a full large warehouse at the end of each week as well as if you're selling your stock that you'll be gradually producing from the businesses that if you have all five businesses purchased as part of the biker president you will be making 528 million eight hundred and eighty five thousand dollars in a year just by doing that now if you do intend on doing both of these methods together then you could be potentially making six hundred and forty four million three hundred and twenty five thousand dollars each year just by doing this method in gt online now i hope you enjoyed the video as well as hopefully this video is educated to you in teaching you whether it is worth becoming a biker president in this new update in GT Online, the Biker DLC, and I'll see you guys in the next video.